Now we reach to the point where we know everything about Tramalo, every basics we need. Uh, but before we actually will play Tramalo, let's just summarize what happened so far. So the basic Tramalo pattern is P A M I. Your wrist has to be raised a bit, not too much, but it also doesn't have to be, uh, shouldn't be too low. So you know, healthy midway, as I told you. Your thumb has to move smoothly left to your E finger and uh, the other fingers have to move independently from each other on their own more or less circular route okay but very independently from each other that's what we know so far so let's see the first exercise let's play tremolo on the first string so raise your wrist a bit place your thumb uh, left to the other fingers and everything Okay, everything is in order. And now we will play three strokes on the first string. The exercise will be to play these three strokes, but two or three fast sequences and one slow sequence. faster the whole point of uh, playing slow sequences too is uh, to find some time to relax your hands mm, time to time you will need less and less time to release attention and you will be able to play more fast sequences uh, after each other but uh, this is how you learn effortlessness in the same time okay so one two three something but uh, you have to focus on your fingers in the meanwhile you have to check if they are moving independently or are they moving together you have to fix that if you if you catch any mistake you will have time uh, on the slow movements to prepare for the next fast movement for the fast for the next fast sequence don't worry if your let's say third fast sequence is uh, uneven because uh, in time you will improve and you will need less time to release the tension and you will be able to play more fast sequences together and this is how you will get your tremolo now i will show you my trick how i how i work on my tremolo it's uh, called planting or preparation uh, preparing your fingers it means after you pluck you have to put down immediately the finger you want to use next it will stop the sound it will stop the stop the string but uh, this is good to feel the string where where it is where where is the string and uh, how big movement you need this is a really good ex uh, exercise And uh, when you put your fingers back on the string it has to be a soft movement you shouldn't push it you shouldn't use strength to do this you just have to you know just have to softly put it down on the string and now let's play the same exercise as uh, the previous one but with planting sequences uh, are, are uh, prepared too. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but uh, okay, uh, let me show you the difference. And planting. It's more crunchy. 
Another good exercise is to pluck five with four fingers. And by that, the starting finger will be different each time. So it's a little brain work, but uh, it builds your control over your, your fingers and over your plucking too. So it looks like this. So the starting finger will be will be different always. And between the sequences uh, you also have to release the tension if you use tension, but you don't need tension to do this. Uh, but if you do, release. Okay, so if you want to do something really tricky, now use your pinky while you play uh, the tremolo. So it will it will mean uh, five plucking. Uh, use the first string. Let's let's do it on the first string at first. Sorry for my uh, sorry about my my pinky tone. It's terrible, I know. it will get better. It's, it's tricky even for me because I, I don't often use it, uh, but for the exercise it's good, it's really good. You probably won't use uh, four, I mean five fingers tremolo in the future, but who knows, who knows. So yeah, it's, it's good to improve this. And uh, by, by including your pinky into the tremolo exercise, you will balance your whole right hand. And that's 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 a good that's a good thing to do. Another good exercise is to pluck only with your thumb between the fast sequences. Remember, tremolo doesn't mean you have to use this pattern, the P A M I, because some people find the P I M A even more comfortable. It's really up to you and up to your uh, hand, but I recommend you to try out both of them, uh, even if you want to use, uh, for example, even if you want to use P uh, AMI, never, because you choose the other one, it's good to practice it in order to control uh, your hand, in order to build uh, a really good control over your right hand. Now we reached to the end of this course and I hope you liked it, I hope you find it useful and if you do, please subscribe on my channel and leave a comment about it, leave a comment about your technical struggles and what you find useful about this course and also check out my socials please, for example, uh, Patreon helps me to make more videos like this one and my previous videos, so please consider to support me on Patreon uh, so I could make more videos like this. Thank you so much and take care of yourselves. Hope to see you next time. Bye.